Welcome everyone in the video number 2 of the blueprint networking tutorials and more specifically player traveling and joining sessions. So first thing I forgot to make you create two things in the previous videos. So we are going to do it right now. So first thing I forgot to make you create the second level. If you remember well in the first video I show you guys I was uh, traveling through two different levels and we only have one right now so that's a problem and I'd like to make you duplicate this level to use mm, twice this level so I, we don't have to reboot all the sky sphere and such but actually we can't duplicate it right now so I discovered why because we have it opened so we need to create a new level uh, call it whatever you we want we don't care we're going to delete it here we're going to delete it anyway. So let's save, let's open this newly created uh, level and uh, once we are on this new level we can duplicate the regular level. So we are going to call it level 2 for conveniency and uh, of course we are going to rename the first one. Why are, aren't we calling it level 2? Because this level already is stored in our mm, project database and it's basically the first level to be spawned uh, when you open up the editor or when you open the game in uh, game uh, mode in, uh, in a package project. So if you want to check you can open uh, project settings and view map and mods and here it says game default map and editor start started map and actually he lost uh, the reference to it because we changed its name so we're going to tell him that uh, level 1 uh, you see we don't have level 2 because we don't have uh, we don't save it we didn't save it yet so we're going to tell him to use level 1 as first uh, as first uh, level of the of the game so save up and uh, we're going to open uh, level 1 and we're going to delete a new world because we don't care about uh, a dark a dark uh, a dark level you might create your first menu in, in such a level but right now we need something that uh, we can actually see see things uh, happening so if we open up level 2 it's going to be the same thing so we're going to just change the lights so we can keep track of uh, white, uh, what, uh, what level we're on so in the details panel I'd like to change the, the sky color so I'd like uh, like something uh, a, a bright uh, something like that I'm not I'm not really good at uh, doing uh, graphical things don't 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 blame me please so I'm going to save and then then I forgot to make you do another thing if you would play oops uh, sorry for the sound you're only going to have one player so we don't want that we want uh, the the editor to open for two players and actually we are going to fix some settings I'm going to to open the play um, the play windows in several uh, win other window other than the the scene model right there I'm going to show you anyway so I'm I, I'm decreasing the size of the windows so you can actually see what's going on because I, I have ki kind of a small screen so here I'm going to specify that I want a new editor window and right there you can see I have two players because I specified here that I want two players. I don't want a dedicated server because I want a server to be present to handle the traveling logic. So when I hit play, I just have two levels, so client one and uh, client and server. So I, I can I can switch. I can't switch because I'm French and my Q and A inputs are reversed. So that 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 explains my accent a bit. So yep, you have your two things I forgot set up now so we might be interested in uh, building the widgets because that's kind of uh, but I'm going to do it in another video because that uh, we are already been after the five minute mark so I think that's that's enough for this video hope to see you guys in the next one I hope, hope you enjoy it bye bye